Hi, I'm Clara from Online Fabric Store. Batik fabric is traditionally made using wax as a resist. Designs are created by painting or stamping hot wax onto the fabric and then dyeing it. The wax stops the dye from penetrating the fabric. You can create a similar effect much more easily by using glue instead of hot wax. So let's get started. The materials you'll need are fabric or an item of clothing, writ dye, a craft glue, a container for dyeing, a spoon, rubber gloves, and also plastic to cover your workspace and a pot for boiling water. For best results, use a fabric made from natural fibers like cotton and pre-wash the fabric. Use a washable craft glue like Elmer's glue to create your design. You can use the glue tip to freehand a pattern or use a stamp or stencil. I'm drawing a herringbone chevron design. If you're dyeing a t-shirt or other item of clothing, put plastic like a trash bag between the layers of fabric so the glue doesn't bleed through. Let the glue dry completely. Make sure your workspace is covered with plastic or something to protect it from staining. Then dye the fabric using a technique of your choice to get the effect you want. I'm using low water immersion, which will create a modeled look that works well with the batik style. Soak the fabric in warm water. Wet fabric takes dye better and more evenly than dry fabric. Heat at least enough water to cover the fabric. With the water near boiling, pour it into a container. Put on rubber gloves and add the dye, shaking it first, then stir. The amount of dye you use will depend on the color you want to achieve and the amount of water you're using. I'm using a combination of lemon yellow and tangerine rip dye. Then scrunch the fabric as you put it into the dye. The more tightly packed, the more modeled the result will be. Here, I want the batik to be the focal point, so I'm using more water in a larger container so the fabric will dye more evenly. Let the fabric sit for about half an hour. If you're using Elmer's glue, don't move the fabric around too much or the glue will start to rub off. Rinse in warm water, then cold until the water runs clear. Depending on the glue you used, rub it off as you rinse or peel it off later. Machine wash on cold and hang dry. Using glue is an easy way to create a beautiful batik effect. You can dye the fabric multiple times with different patterns to build up more complex designs. Experiment to create unique fabrics of your own with this batik method. Thanks for watching this OFS project.